after all. Right when I take like the biggest bite of cake imaginably, they start the game. Real. All right, guys, what is up? We are in the loading screen at the moment. It's going to be on MLG Metalopolis, which is just an obnoxious map for our PvP. We got our green Protoss OS, and it's going to be our pro 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 And again, uh, if you guys are interested for any of the games throughout this tournament that I broadcast, they are going to be on youtube.com slash cheeseheadlogic. Subscribe, follow, whatever you need to do. Uh, definitely always some good games and always nice to have, you know you have some replays of yourself or some players that kind of do some interesting stuff. And again, these guys are not top tier players, not masters uh, yet. But again, this is very entertaining. They're playing very well. And I mean, if you are a Protoss, this is your tournament to watch, so European Amateur Cup number four, remember that watch. If you're a Protoss, there's literally every single game I broadcast today had a Protoss in it. If you're a Terran player, don't bother watching. You're not going to learn a damn thing because you were not in it. So this is just a straight Protoss tournament. Uh, I think there's a couple of Zergs too, not many though to speak of. And there we go, Hashdan, one of our admins, pieced out out of the game, so there we go, guys, starting off at the 9 o'clock position, the green Protoss, who just took grand final set number 1, 3 1, pushing a grand final set number 2, is Hoessa. And starting off at the 6 o'clock position, we got Nasser, the purple Protoss. He is now needing to win this, man. At the same time, it's kind of a nice cashing in thing. Um, he is working the kind of the count, the double elimination. <coughs> so yeah, we're just gonna be kind of watching. Uh, this is gonna be a standard PvP at the moment. He's gonna go three gate robo and most likely three gate robo on the other side, and they're gonna just go mortal pushes unless somebody decides to do kind of a cheesy route. Now I know who Essa does have the capability of doing about a four hit zealot squad off of a two gate opener, but we will see if he decides to utilize that and make it into a quick game. Uh, depending on what Na I mean, Nasser's not gonna change his game style play up at all. He's been very predictable and been doing the same thing. He's gonna go three gate robo, so wouldn't expect anything really that different out of him just yet. Or, I mean, maybe it's a little bit too late for that. <clears throat> As for the map itself, it is MLG Metalopolis at the moment. There are two Xelnaga Towers. Uh, and, again, you can't spawn closed positions, so a little bit of schematics of the map if you guys are watching. So, if Nasser is right here, his opponent cannot be right here. Same goes for Hoessa. Nasser couldn't have been up here then. So, no point in scouting those areas if you have not yet. Like... 20 minutes. Right, so, look at things right now. Not too, too much again going on in game. Roommates bothering me. And oh my god, Nasser actually forgot to put his uh, probes on gas. Hold on, just a sec, guys. I'll be right back. One sec. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Momentarily, I had to close my door. I mean, it's excited that they're back, back in the apartment. Didn't know that was so exciting. <laughs> so, looking at things right now, we got the cybernetics core and finishing up for Nasser at the moment. Uh, doesn't look like there's going to be any two gate opener for Hoessa at the moment. And again, Hoessa does have that probe hiding in the back. We did see this early in the tournament where it actually this um, actually lost in the game. And I'm pretty sure this is actually a rematch, if I'm not mistaken, of the loser, uh, the winner's bracket finals, not the grand finals, but the winner's bracket finals where Hoessa actually was able to put a proxy paw and do a little bit of a zealot sneak in, but at the same time at the front, he just couldn't hold off too much, uh, enough. So I wanted to see what Hoessa has learned from that last matchup. I'm going to pay attention to that closer um, when it comes to it. And there we go, scouting uh, probe is gone now. Um, and I th think, I don't know, does Nasser have that mentality that that 
probe is just gone. Like he's, I think he rallied, did he rally over there? I think he rallied over there. Does he see it? Does he see it? I don't think he does. Oh my god, there's like this little crevice. I just, that's awesome. I think Hoes actually saw him. I don't think uh, Nasser really did. This is actually a little crevice here, like even a little bit more of a crevice than between these gases. It's like a sh fog upon a fog, so that's pretty neat. So pollen's going on the backside there. I'm really actually concerned right now. Nasser does not uh, see that. I doubt Hoes will do that same mistake where he tries to like warp and units expand and like do all this obnoxious stuff. Um, all at once while sitting back, so which could be, and this probably will be a little bit more dangerous. I think he'll actually wait. Um, most likely, what uh, OS will do, he'll sit back and kind of just build units here, get ready to defend a push from Nasser on the backside. He'll probably put a few proxy pylons. He'll put a few proxy pylons. Um, I mean, not a few proxy pawns, he'll warp in a few zealots on the backside and try to do some economic damage. And if, if in so fact he could hold off that push, that's going to do a lot of uh, damage to Nasser. So I just kind of explain there at the moment uh, to one of the players in game that this is literally if you guys watch the winners finals uh, you're gonna look and see there's no difference in the game except the fact that uh, I think Na like it was opposite I think OS has started over here and like NASA was like cross positions over here that's about it The one we do see right now, Nasser is supply blocked, Immortals out. And pollen, okay, I was about to say, I'm like, oh my god, is there another proxy pollen down? Going down for Nasser, back to back. So at the moment, uh, really good patience uh, by both players at the moment. Nothing indicating that they got a freak out or anything. Uh, we do see about five stalkers right there, one immortal, four zealots, and two sentry. So a nice little mini composition. Uh, Nasser at the moment, he's a little bit heavier. He's got two immortals, about five stalkers in the sentry, so a little bit on the heavier end of things. And another immortal is about to pop out. War Prism is planned to death chest, so maybe we might see a huge, like, maybe we'll see a huge uh, immortal drop. Who the heck knows, man? Could be pretty neat. I mean, if this pylon wasn't back here, you could actually just warp in them. I mean, just lift and depot a bunch of units over here. So, uh, meanwhile, we do see Hoes are kind of getting a little bit of vision of what's going on in the base of uh, NASA at the moment. Gets to see everything else going on. Poor thing's going to get picked off and, oh, loses vision of it. And will NASA push out? Uh, he actually might. He's got the observer right now. He knows he actually has that vision on the high ramp. So, not too bad. I could be pretty confident to push out. Maybe Nasser even on the backside. He's got the pylon either. He's going to use this for warpins or he could actually make a nexus for the natural expansion. Meanwhile, that's an upgrade. Attack number one is done. I don't know if Nasser is. He is not upgraded at all. And on the backside, again, there's that proxy pylon. Watch for that proxy pylon. Why is that nexus so dark? Like, look at that. Look how dark that nexus is. If everybody's watching, like, look how dark that nexus is. Like, that's not right. It's like, I have to get like closer to it? I don't know. That is just a really dark nexus compared to over here. Like this one's like pure light. So here we go. We got the engagement going out on the front. We got immortals kind of leading the way. Got to be really careful. If these immortals get focused down fairly well and, uh, warps and more units. And I think Hoes and Nance are going to push back. And see, this is the thing I was wondering. I'm like, why is Hoes and not warping in some zealots on the backside and doing a push or going to do some mineral harass damage right now? Why is this Nexus so damn dark? Ah, beats me. But overall, we do see a nice little unit composition. No morals popping out, but again, he does have the high ground. I'm really worried right now about Nasser at the moment. I mean, not Nasser, Hoes. It can be. Oh, gotta be careful not to get trapped. And oh, good force field at the front of the ramp gives him a little bit more time to warp in some units if he, in fact, does need to. But again, he's not utilizing this proxy pylon that well. That or actually he's supply block too. Um, 
probably shouldn't put the pylons out in front, especially playing against the Protoss with the OBS. Oh my god. Oh my god, actually, I did miss it. He actually did warp in some units. Uh, looks like the Immortal will go down at the moment. And one is a kind of AI not attacking, so... We've got Zealot on Zealot Crime going on right now in the back of the base, and here we go. More, uh... Holy crap, a lot of probes, like, lost. So, amazing counterattack. All the Zells do get cleared out of the back of the line. And, um, I wonder where... I wonder where... I wonder where those Zells came from. Nasser, where where did those Zells come from? There's no war prison. Nasser, where, where, where did those Zells come from? Either way, we're looking at the units count. 11 probes got killed, and that's huge for Nasser, who hasn't been making any himself. Down to 18 to probes compared to the 29 of Hoessa. So, great harass. Meanwhile, Nexus is getting taken. I think Nexus just finished up not too long ago for Nasser, but either way, still in a great position uh, right now, Hoessa. And again, he could warp in more units towards the backside. And this is just kind of, I, I laugh at that. It's like, Nasser just kind of ignored the fact there were results in his base. Like, how they got there? Hmm, I don't know. Definitely needs to constantly kind of check back there. And here we go, more results getting uh, warped in. And here we go, more results getting picked off right now at the base at the front. And uh, can he focus on results? He will. I mean, can he focus on probes? Sorry. He's going to focus on probes. And oh, it takes another one out. So. We're now up to a total of 16 probes, and now I think he's figured out the fact that there is a proxy pylon right there. Huh? Okay, there it is. See that little crevice right there? Look at that little corner crevice where that probe can hide, man. That That's that's crazy. Slim. <laughs> and why is this Nexus so damn dark? I still can't figure out. Nexus is so dark. Look at these like these are like dark stalkers. What? It's like either it's maybe it's my graphics card giving out or something like that. I don't know. It's like we got like dark stalkers morphing.